Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to onboard and manage a partition from the partition Decranus. This is a remote management device that the customer can use to manage the partition, even if the complete HSM is managed by someone else. We will show three different steps. One is the visit if you receive a completely new device in factory state. The second step is the onboarding, which will pair the Decranus with the partition. And the third step are the security feature you can use when you are connected. So first, we will power on the device and it will automatically go into the visit because it's in a factory state. So it will tell you which steps you have to do. So you just say start. That's generate the key encryption key for the communication. That's done. That's the UI device access password. You can change it now or change it later. It just protects the touch screen. This device UID you do not need. You need that only if you want to manage a HSM to pair the Decranus, but for the partition management, you don't need that. But otherwise you could still look it up later. Now you're ready. You can choose, do you want to have device administration or partition? So we would use partition and are now in the feature of partition management. One of the first things you need to do is to put IP settings on the device itself. Um, so the Ethernet cable I already plugged in and you can here configure the IP address you want to give to this device and the network mask. You can put set and you're all ready. The other feature you don't need for the moment. You go back and we are already in the second phase where you want to do the onboarding. We will onboard here two security officers. It is possible to have only a single access security officer, but that's not best practice. So we will demonstrate the standard use case with two. You can create later more, but in the onboarding you create two and you will always need two out of M. So you choose onboarding and you will be presented by a lot of fields. So here choose two out of M. The cards are already inserted. That's why it's green. The ethernet link is up. That's why it's green. And you have a few fields that are provided by the HSM provider. So the HSM provider will tell you the IP connection, the partition name and the management password you need to onboard. As you see now, I filled out all the fields with the according information and I can choose onboard. You need to specify the name of the first security officer it will be the owner of the card in slot one. And you can choose a pin. We enter to be sure. Then the second security officer, choose the pin. We enter. Now it's connecting and creating the cards. And now we have onboarded two partition security officers. So now in this field, you have here the connect option and you can connect to the partition that you choose. So we have on only onboarded one, so we connect to this one partition. So you need the cards and the pin to connect to. And now you have management access to the partition and I show you what you can do. 
So in the user configuration, you can decide what policies belongs to this partition. You can have um, different parameters. The key invalidation is like a Windows garbage bin to manage the deleted keys. One of the important features is that you can choose here to allow device SO access. If you remove that field, it means that the device SO of the HSM is no longer able to manage your partition and they are no longer to create new credentials. So let's do that. That's why there is now a warning because the device SO is then no longer able to help you, to assist you, because he has no longer management rights to this partition. But that's what we do for now. And we can say set, we want to do that. And it's saved. So user credential, you can create new setup password, for example. You could save it onto a USB stick which would be convenient if you choose that. But let's say no for the moment. And that's the setup password that any application is needing to connect to your partition. Per default, it's 27 hours valid. Um, that's here, the 27, you could choose that lifetime. The invalidated keys is the deleted key garbage bin. Then the login management is what we do, did just now. You can create a new card or copy your card or create a new secret to onboard. That would be advisable in case you lose all your cards so you have a backup. In user diagnostic, you can see this partition now has already two keys because that's my test partition. But you will see here how many keys are in the partition, if it's empty or not. And with backup, you are able to create a backup file for your partition that you can again later import with this partition decronus. So these are the features that the partition SO is able to use and if you're finished then you can say sign out and you are no longer connected to your partition. If you have any further question do not hesitate to ask and thank you for your attention. <laughs>